Adam, this is really exciting. To be sitting here today on the brink of history, dipping our pen into the inkwell of history. Oh, I like that. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> Adam, it's exciting to be here today. We're dipping our pen into the inkwell of history to change things entirely. Wait, Barry, I'm not cutting this. I like the first way you said it. Just keep going with it. Oh, keep going oh, with okay. it. The virtual inkwell of history as captured by this it's video gonna, camera. It's going to be up to the citizens of Arizona to determine what we write on that page. And I want it to be positive. I want it to be good. <laughs> the idea that the Republicans kicked our other gubernatorial candidate off of the ballot. Well, Barry, and, Barry, Barry, so you gotta, you gotta who, who are you, oh, Barry? Oh, yeah, I'm Billy. No. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm Barry Hess, and I'm the Libertarian write-in candidate for Eric Matley. Yes. Hello. <laughs> We're going with this. We're okay. keeping all of this. <laughs> oh, yeah. This is the best take by far. Hello. I'm Barry Hess, and I'm the Libertarian write-in candidate for governor. I've been the nominee for the Libertarian Party for the last four elections, and this time I wasn't going to be part of it. I wanted to let someone else take the reins. And when the Republican Party determined that they would kick the Libertarians off of the ballot, I could not sit back and do nothing. We've got to make sure Arizonans have a choice in this next election. We can't let them pull a Hillary on us by trying to win by exclusion. To so win by exclusion This is, is a not typical a thing that happens in Arizona, really throughout the United States, where the old parties will pull whatever dirty tricks they can to keep libertarians off the ballot. And here in Arizona, at least for 2018, that first phase, they succeeded in getting our candidates off the ballot. So the only way to get libertarians on the ballot in Arizona now is... Is by write-in. And that's what we're asking you to do today, to write in the slate of candidates that we've put together of fine libertarians and put us on the ballot in the general election in November. We're going to ask you to do this. You're going to have to write our names on your ballot for the primary in order to get this done. Now, you can only be a registered libertarian in order to participate. So if you're already a libertarian register, <laughs> registered if voter registered. in the state of Arizona as a libertarian. Absolutely. Then you're good to go. And if you're not, it's okay. You have six days to fix that. That's right. You have up until the 27th? 28th, I think. Up until the yeah. 27th A month or before 28th. the primaries. Do it now. Don't wait. And this is really important. If you're a registered libertarian in Arizona, go to ArizonaFreedomTeam.com. You can see our whole slate of candidates and the names that we're asking you to write in for every office. But if you're not a registered libertarian in the state of Arizona, really easy to go to azsos.gov. Links will be included below wherever with this video, so don't worry about that. If you go to arizonafreedomteam.com, you'll see the links for all of our individual campaign websites as well. And Barry, having run for governor, uh, this is the fifth time now in Arizona, is very familiar with these issues. So when, when he saw this uh, and the opportunity that this represented, because this is a, a very high profile race nationally. He recruited me to be the Senate candidate for this effort. And I, when I saw this, I was like, yeah, this is, I, I mean, cause I, I saw that, that Kevin McCormick uh, and, and Doug Marks is, is the candidates for governor uh, and, and uh, Senate. Senate who were nominated by the party and were collecting signatures disqualified. I was just, and so I'm so grateful that, that Barry is, is you know, spearheading this project and putting this effort together to make sure that libertarians in the state of Arizona, well, really, the, the, the citizens of the state of Arizona have a real choice come November. And specifically with the U.S. Senate race, it's a very high-profile race because it's the seat that Senator Flake vacated. And we have, uh, in, in the Democrats and Republicans, lining up quite a... I, I, all the cliches come to mind: Motley Crue, you know, group of miscreants. I mean, we've got we've got uh, mm -hmm. Democrat Congresswoman Kristen Sinema uh, looking like she's got the nomination secured on the Republican side. Uh, Congresswoman Martha McSally, real military industrial complex cheerleader. Uh, Kelly Ward and Sheriff Joe Arpaio. So, getting a, a libertarian uh, alternative to these vicious statists 
it, more of the same. It's is, is certainly a worthwhile effort. So uh, if, if you can help, please go to ArizonaFreedomTeam.com and you can sign up there, give us your information. Uh, Barry, as, as a, a gubernatorial candidate who's run as much as you have, are you surprised that the people of Arizona haven't elected libertarians yet? I mean, this is a very libertarian state. People in Arizona, I mean, I moved here, uh, you know, just a few years ago after doing four national tours because I realized that Arizona was the greatest state in the union and very freedom oriented. Barry, I'm, I'm why really haven't shocked. we elected more libertarians yet? Are the Republicans and Democrats just that good at keeping us out of the debate? They absolutely are. Uh, and they have used every little cheap trick, uh, all of the laws. They've, they've used laws to try to push, push us off the ballot. Of course, we got those laws repealed, and then they put them back under Doug Ducey. These Band-Aid governors aren't doing you any favors. All they're trying to do is squash and put out the little fires. They're not talking about a new future for Arizona. They're not interested in your prosperity or your economic gains or your opportunities for employment or for creativity so that you can start your own business. That's what I will do. But one of the most important things is obviously education. Arizona is one of eight states that has a state constitutional requirement to provide free or nearly free public instruction, and I will abide by the Constitution, but I will also cut that budget by at least half by my plans that have now been taken by the Republican Democrats. It was called the K-12 program. That's what it became. Guess who put that up? You can see it on my website because since 2002, my positions haven't changed. How many politicians can you name who haven't flip-flopped on anything because principles don't change we're running as libertarians because we are libertarians because the libertarian party is the party of principle and when the old parties are going you know who do we point the guns of government at to organize society the libertarian answer is nobody we want freedom and freedom is what you have when no one is forcing their will on you that's peace that's harmony that's universal nonviolence. that's really the criteria of a free society. And when you're advocating this, it, it's kind of hard to get people's attention, right? right? Because they all, they all, you know, if it bleeds, it leads. And Republicans and Democrats are, are really, you know, the masters at, at keeping voices that challenge the status quo out of the conversation. So that's why we're asking for your help to get on the ballot here in Arizona. So if you're not from the state, obviously you can't vote in the state, at least not legally. <laughs> and uh, if you want to help from out of state, we're going to have a phone banking effort, so please sign up at ArizonaFreedomTeam.com to be a part of that. For people who are familiar with what I've got going on right now, obviously running for the presidential nomination of the Libertarian Party in 2020, I'm going to have to suspend the campaign for a few months in order to do this and put that aside. But what I saw here, as uh, Barry made it clear, there's just too good of an opportunity to pass up, and it would be too much of a tragedy for the Libertarian Party, for the movement, for the state party to not have any candidates on the ballot in Arizona in 2018. So um, when when Barry gave me this opportunity to, to help out the party in that way and, and to be more uh, connected with the state here in Arizona, I was like all about it. Now, obviously, I can't tell you as a U.S. Senator, I'm going to get rid of the entire federal government. That's not a realistic possibility that has nothing to do with the authority that I'm asking for and that's what it is you're asking for a certain authority with the blessing of the voters to say I want to take on this political position I want to take on this power well similar to the philosophy or the, the, the platform that comes out of uh, looking at the presidential powers looking at the powers of a senator from the same philosophical grounding the same perspective of freedom uh, I'm basically gonna vote no on everything. Should the government? No. Should the government? No. It's really that simple. Oh, and by the way, taxation is theft. So how do we get to that point of a free society by electing one person to the U.S. Senate? It's not going to happen. But uh, one of the things that, that I do get to do as a U.S. Senator is travel and visit troops in the field. And I will visit as many of the troops as I possibly can. And I will look them in the eyes and tell them that I was one of them that we have been lied to, that they are not fighting for freedom, and that I will do everything in my power as a U.S. Senator to ensure that not even one more American soldier 
dies for lies. Wars are violence. Wars are based on lies. That, that's always the case. You look at the drug war, it's the same thing. So, you know, if I don't do this, Barry, no one's going to watch this video. I mean, a, a couple of, you know, nerdy political libertarian dudes sitting around in someone's backyard. Uh, I feel like we got we got to do some it's a little little attention getting here. So I've, I've got a I've got a, a joint of cannabis here, and this is not just a, an act of petty civil disobedience for a video to make a point, but it it really is, you know, something that that to me, again, it is, you know, I hesitate to use the word offensive, but it's it's disturbing that we are told as members of the U.S. military, that we are going out fighting for freedom. We come home to a country where we have a veteran suicide epidemic of at least 20 veterans committing suicide a day. We have Republicans and Democrats in power who clearly don't care about the lives of veterans. They are willing to kill you on behalf of the pharmaceutical industries and pump pills to you through the VA rather than legalize a plant and give veterans the freedom to medicate how we see fit. This is something that probably saved my life when I got out of the Marines, when I got back from Iraq. And I know that countless other lives could be saved if we actually respected the freedom that veterans have allegedly fought for and give them that freedom. So, Barry, while, while I get this started, I think we need to let people know to some of the awesome benefits, uh, you know, of, of what happens if, if we succeed in this. I mean, also, like I say, if we fail in this, if we fail to get on the ballot, um, by the way, even the chickens are upset about this, this crap here in, in Arizona, but the, uh, it, even if we fail, in terms of pressing for ballot access in the future, it's a victory, right? It's always a victory when you get up and try. And as governor, I can do something about this ridiculous, phony, war on some drugs. I will release all nonviolent offenders who are simply incarcerated for possession. This destroys families and what most people don't understand is the cascading effect which leaves the breadwinner in jail, the family on welfare and dependent upon your tax dollars and I plan on eliminating the tax burden on every individual so extremely the rest of the nation will sit up and take notice. If you want a real, free Arizona, if you want to support people who actually believe what they say and will walk the walk or toke the toke, vote Libertarian. Write us in. Be part of this monumental effort. Thank you very much. Please check out ArizonaFreedomTeam.com for all the details. Mwah. Peace and love, y'all. <laughs> Thank you to YouTube for hosting this video and for being an essential part of human progress by making video hosting available worldwide to everyone on the internet. However, the next phase in human progress is here with Steemit.com and their video hosting alternative blockchain-based solutions, including DTube, and you can find that through Steemit.com as well as my own page there, at Adam Kokesh. This is a decentralized blockchain-based social media network that pays you fairly for your content. Already, I'm regularly making more there with a single post than I do from an entire month on YouTube. So please join us on the next frontier of the information revolution at steamit.com. And if you want help getting a leg up there, I'm happy to re-steam your posts and make sure that no one is starting from scratch. Just email me one of your favorite posts at adam at and we'll share it on my feed.